Hello, this is the GSI 17 audiometer and I'd like to give you an update on how to use it. In the morning, this is where you would turn it on. I is on and the O with the little dash is off. You can see the number in the display and that tells you that the audiometer is on. This knob controls your intensity or loudness. We test at 20 dB. This knob controls the, in the frequency of the stimulus you're presenting. So you have high and low pitch sounds. This slider has three settings for your tones. The far right hand setting is a pulse tone. Beep, beep, beep. The center setting is a pure tone, beep, and the FM setting is a warble tone. Ooh. The warble tone is easier to hear when there's background noise, and that's our recommended setting. This slider uh, presents the tone to each ear. R is right and L is left. Always start in the right ear. Now to present a tone, you're going to hold down this button for one to two seconds. Ooh. Ooh. And hopefully the student will respond by raising their hand. These are the earphones that most of you will have. They are the audio cup. They're double cupped. You can see they have one earphone inside and a cup to help isolate the background noise on the outside. You will want to put the center section here right over the student's opening to their ear canal. Red goes on right, blue goes on left. These earphones are adjustable so you should have no problem making the headband fit snugly over the top of the student's head. If a student is wearing a hard plastic headband, a baseball cap, big earrings, or glasses, you will want them to take them off prior to fitting the earphones. They should be snug on the student's ears. Now to present the tone, we always start in the right ear. For elementary students, we would start at 4,000 hertz. Present a tone. If they respond, go to 2,000. Present a tone. Go to 1,000, 500. Switch ears and go back. 500, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. If your student is in high school or middle school, you would want to start at 6,000. Do 6,000, 4,000, 2,000, 1,000, switch ears, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and 6,000. Now, if a student does not hear the tone at 20 dB, please go up to 30 or 35 dB and try to give the tone again. The student may not know what they're listening for, and this just helps orient them. But to pass the screening, they must hear the tone at 20 dB. Now when you're giving the presentations, please try to vary your rate. The worst thing you can do, or one of the worst things you can do, is push, they raise their hand, push, they raise their hand, push, they raise their hand. Pretty soon they're just raising their hand in a rhythm, whether you're giving them a tone or not. Um, it's best to present a tone, wait a short period, present another, maybe present it quickly then, and just vary the rate. Um, if you still can't pass the student, then give your audiologist a call. Thank you so much. Bye.